Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 18 Trading to Glory series on my channel, which is a mainly daily series, but we have been a couple of days well. Actually, no, we did have a video yesterday. We didn't have one Tuesday. Oh no, we did have one Tuesday. No, we didn't. We didn't have one Tuesday. We didn't have one Wednesday. It went up yesterday because I just didn't have time to edit it all up. But we have got a FIFA 18 title update then, uh, made some changes to the gameplay. I think they've tried to reduce the uh, kickoff goals, um, goalkeepers unnecessarily clearing the ball. Following changes will be made to uh, but Champions Weekends. All matches will now take place in the FIFA E World Cup Stadium. With the time of day always set to night and weather always set to clear. Probably because it's just a nice, uh, there's no shadows. Pretty much screens no longer display which team is the home or away team. Uh, you'll no longer see the opponent's kits. Uh, yeah. F uh, player fitness and squad fitness search fields on the FUT. Not returning to the correct items. The player manager not correcting to the same items. Uh, there's visual issues. Uh, yeah, so uh, not, not really much that's going to concern us. But we're popping over to Ultimate Team today. Because I don't know why I've just put it down. Because I was going to load a tweet. Um, I'm actually not going to put it on the screen. Because my computer just doesn't like it. I don't know why. I don't think it's powerful enough for me to do anything like that. So um, I'm not going to do it. As you can see we did hit over 2 million coins. With all the trading that we have now done. But I'm going to pop over to Twitter. Because at 6pm today. The ones to watch cards do go live. And by the time this video is live. They will be live, and I'm not sure if we will see the SBCs out today as well. I do not uh, know, but let's have a look. Let's pop over to... It's not on trending, so that's good. Uh, we'll go EA Sports FIFA. And we will pop over and I will read out all of the ones to watch cards that are out. So obviously, I don't know if, I mean, I can try and show it to the webcam, but I don't think it's going to, don't think you can be able to see it that well. No, you won't. So I'll just read them out. We have Alexis Sanchez, who's currently at 89. We have um, Aubameyang, Coutinho, Costa, Mkhitaryan, Laporte, Van Dijk, Lucas, Inigo Martinez, Bachelu Wai, Theo Walcott, Jal Mario, Gerard De La Feu, Ross Barkley, Entep, Coquelin, Talafico, uh, Tosun, Miet, Musso, who's actually gone back to um, CSKA. We got, I, can't quite, I think it's Babacar, Lacadia, and Rashia, I think. I can't really pronounce his name. But they're the ones to watch. They're live today at 6 pm. Now we know. That there is going to be a um, SBC for them. Whether it's out today, I very much doubt it. No, we do actually have the new um, whatever they're called, legends. Now, I mean, I don't see why we can't do this. What do we need? We need an ATT rated team to get an unknown Filippo and Zaghi. To get the actual JJ Kocha would cost you probably quite a lot. We need Unchat Frankfurt, Fenerbahce, we need PSG, we need Bolton, 84, 85 and 86 rated squads. Which probably wouldn't set you back too many thousands of coins uh, nowadays in the market. Because there will be a lot of packs being open. So by the time you're watching this you best be getting on them transfers. Now we're going to, uh, I think we've sold a couple of the items. I've got a couple more items to sell. Uh, we got some more of the silvers. By the time they sell, they should be making us. Now, the, the transfer market currently, I mean, we have some stuff here. I'm not sure it's anything that we've won. No, it's all the vendors I was bidding on. So, the transfer market currently only has 888,000. Um, I mean, we got some screen boosts to 6 p.m. today, but um, I'm not actually going to be playing any matches today. I'm not really planning to do any trading either. Um, 
what I would recommend you go and do though, if you haven't done so already, which I'm not sure if I did take to do or not, but what I might do is just go and pick up some 83 rated players. Um, because they'll probably be up in price soon. I mean, depending on how much you can pick them up for. I think their price has probably already gone up. Because it's like the the pre-hype. But I probably have a... F I've got a couple of 83 rates in my club anyway. And you know what? It's the weekend. So if there is anything there, I'll just trade with them. You know, this is our learning year as such. This isn't my doing year. This is my learning. It's a learning experience for all of us. But, you know, if I was to jump on, I would have an 88 rated Gerard De La Feu with 95 pace, 80 shot, 80 passing, 90 dribbling. Which is quite nice. Um, but we're not going to be doing that today. I did, however, go ahead and play some online games. I'm actually now in Division 6. Uh, we won the... We got promoted with a 3-2 win. Um, I don't think it's under that. It's actually under current season. I got a 3-2 win. Then I got a 3-1 win. Then I got a 7-0 win, which was a very... That was actually... I think it was the Premier League team that got that. You know, the Premier Team, Premier League team we do like very much. But today, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be doing our first ever FUT online draft on this series. Now, I've done some before. Obviously, this is not, this is a free-to-play series, so we are not, I do have 53 points on the account. The reason I do have 53 points on the account is because I basically add 53 points, or I add, I think it was... 4,800 thief points to my account at the start of the season to build my club up, basically. That's all I do, um, which cost me about £28. With the £50 for that, it costs basically just as much to get the higher um, FIFA thingamabob, so, or the higher FIFA, the more, the stuff and more stuff on, the Ronaldo edition, basically. But we're going to go in, we're going to pay 15,000 coins, you know. I might do one of these once every month, so this is our February one. We still got March, we still got April, May, June, July, August, September. So that's seven, seven fifteen, only gonna set us back a hundred and so K. So what do we got here? What are we gonna choose? Um Well, we've got the three four three, not gonna be choosing that. We've got the four three three, which I could use. Um it's basically just like our formation we're at right now. We've got the four one four one, not really a fan of that. It's going to be between these two. I had a lot of success with the 4 one 2 on 2 wide. But I think I'm going to go with the 4-3-3 three, three here. And we'll see what we can pick up as our first one. Our first pick. Then we do get the team of the year. Messi. And it will probably be my only chance to pick these wonderful cards. Uh, this looks like a pretty tosh pick. Now, let's think about this theoretically. What we're going to get. So we're not going to get... None of these are going to get me any more chem. Apart from Ruiz. But I don't want anyone up there with 62 pace. Um, I think what we're going to go with here is... We're not going for rating. We're going for a draft that's going to work. Um, we could use Jonas. and um, We might get a name on the left-hand side. But I'm actually going to go Wilson just because Premier League. You do get Premier League players. So I think the Premier League will be the one we pick there. And we do pick up a Wilson. Moving on to the left wing. We do get... Oh! We get some very saucy picks here. So we get the Nima. Uh, but we also get the Sanchez, who wouldn't be on full chemistry because he's at that left forward. We have the Barcelona Coutinho we could go for. But that isn't currently linking up with what we currently have. We could go for the Hazard on that left-hand side. Now that is the question. Do we hold out for a striker that is from the La Liga? Or do we go for Coutinho just to play it safe? Um, you know what? I'm going to go with Hazard. I'm just feeling Hazard. We're going to go to the left centre mid. We're going to see what we get. There we go. We do get the Kante. So maybe we were right to go with that Hazard because he does get a strong link to N'Golo Kante. We've gone to central central midfielder. We do okay. So we have nine golem who is not going to link to anyone and doesn't fit our team at all. So we're not going to be picking him. Same with Silva. Same with Parolo. Same with Streetman. The only one that really fits in thing here is Kovacic. So we've all go ahead and pick Kovacic. 
onto the right hand side of midfielder. Okay. So we have Rodriguez. We have the Herrera. But he isn't going to get any advantages. We might get a Spanish centre back, but we might not. But I think this will be too silly to pass up. We're going to go with Kevin De Bruyne. We're going to switch them around. And we're going to move to our left back. And it looks pretty trash. Um, our options here. <clears throat> Clichy gets the link there. With uh, Kante. Ward. But again, Ward's 67 pace. If I was to end up with him there, not really a fan. Could go Rico, but really he's the wrong side to our team. So I think our only option here is to go with Gael Clichy. Moving on to our left centre-back. Fairly good player. Oh, oh, okay. So our choice we have here, we have Laporte, who would link with Clichy. But we really need him on that other side. We have the Bonucci, who would be nice. But we've got nothing to link him with. We have Ezekiel Garay, who would be better the other side. But I think uh, the only one really that's going to fit the team here would be Vincent Company. So we're going to company. Going to move over to our right back here. Can we get anyone here that fits the team? We do. We get Sergi Roberto. We do get Danilo there, but that again is relying on a full. And we do need the chemistry to Kovacic. So you know what? I'm going to Sergi Roberto. Moving on to the central centre back. Okay. So that does link very nicely. We actually get the Aspili Wheelie, um, which is a very nice link because he doesn't require the link to the central midfielder. He's only really going to be linking to Kevin De Bruyne, who isn't going to be coming out. So I think we're going to go with Aspili Quetta, and we'll go to the goalkeeper. And look at that. Inform David De Gea. Bang. We're going to go to the reserves. We're going to go to the end reserve. This one doesn't look like it's going to be anything too good. Now, we have Carl Walker here. If we were to move it to all Premier League, we might need to use him. He might get more chemistry over there, over at the left back. He's currently at 7, but Kante's already at 10. And he'd be on 6, so he wouldn't work there. So I think I'm actually going to go with Mbappe here, just as a super sub. Next side then, again, nothing too great. We'll go with Yarmolenko Yar from Borussia Dortmund. Next one, we get Silva Toshes. I'll go with Vilar, just because he has the most pace. The next one, we get the Carl Walker again, but we also get the David Silva. Oh, now that is a decision that would be very interesting because um, he'd get the link to Roberto you know we're gonna pop him in I'm gonna put him there question is we do that and then we put him back over there that gets to 92 but no he doesn't get the link to the Roberto. So really, we got that team of the year Messi, but we're not really getting the team to fit him. Now here, I would love to take the Neymar, but we do already have some very good wingers there, and we've already got Eden Hazard and the Messi. So I think I'm actually going to pass up the 95. I'm going to go with the Pedro, just to get the full chem. And we can always bring Messi on um, in the first minutes of the game. Next player then. We'll go with Taliska. Again very nice card. Might come on. Uh, not probably of our midfield though. Looking at it. Next one. Okay. So we have Slim Manny. Um, but again I don't really want Slim Manny. Um, we could go with that Mane actually. He's better than the Pedro. So we'll pop Mane over there. Go with the next one. Again a pretty tosh player it's looking like. We're going to go with... Julian Brandt, why not? Next midfielder, big one. Big flow. Okay, we're going to go with Christian Eriksen. 
who doesn't even fit the team right now. You know, we've got others who are higher rated. The next one, oh, that is just lovely. Look at that. We get a Zanetti left back who's going to go there. He's going to complete the team very nicely. Another huge player here. Who is it going to be? It's going to be Team of the Year Marcelo. Ooh. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, well, I mean, we don't need any of them. So I guess it's going to be the Team of the Year Marcelo. And then last, but certainly not least, the last goalkeeper we get will go with Romero. And we will add a manager in, a Premier League manager to top it off quite nicely. We're not going to get one. Who affects the most players? One player. One. Two players. One player. Three players. Four players. But this one has the most on the pitch. So that is basically what we're working with at 188. We might be able to get that up. Uh, my draft record, don't even look at that, it's awful. Um, I mean, if we were to put Messi up there, he'd be off chem and he just wouldn't. I mean, we'd get 100 chemistry, but he'd be off chem, so I don't want him off chem. We're going to put him in there, that should boost us to 189. We're going to put Yama in for Brent. We're going to put Mbappe in for the Romero. So we're very close to that 190. Not quite there, though. If we shift some of these around, maybe we put him there. We put Ericsson there. We pop him there. Pop him there. Pop him there. And switch them to... Yeah, so we get a 189. Um, not a bad team there, actually. A uh, very good team, in fact. Um, I need to... A bit disappointing that we got Callum Wilson there, but I think I might actually go and throw Mbappe at ST or something. Um, yeah, I might put Mbappe at ST. I might switch Zanetti over to the right and put Marcelo over at left back. And then maybe at half-time we'll throw on Messi for Mane or something. And uh, that's going to be our team. So that is our team for this draft. Today, we're going to see how far we can go. Hopefully, we don't get a round, a round one loss because that would be very disappointing with a really good draft like this one. Let's do this. Now, the problem is with the draft uh, nowadays, um, to get the 15k back requires you to get, well, you'd have to get a pretty good side, pretty good rewards to... To get it, really, wouldn't you? You'd have to get very good rewards. You'd have to get like an 85 rated plus player. But this guy has an 85 rated team. Two ones to watch is up there. Lacazette, Lukaku, Silva, Lamella. He's got a very nice team there. That centre back, very exposed. The goalkeeper, very exposed. Rojo isn't going to be a full chem. Danny Rose isn't going to be on full chem. If there's one part of the pitch you want to be on full chem, it's definitely your defence. But straight away, then we're going to pause the game. We're going to do this sweaty little tap. So we're going to go, hello Mbappe. We're going to pop Zanetti. I mean, look, Zanetti can play a right back. So we're going to throw Zanetti there. We're going to switch Roberto for that top, uh, Totti, uh, Marcelo. And we'll put our Messi in the second half for Mane. Wilson has a shot. He scored. Oh dear. Well, Wilson in the fourth minute has broken through. He scored, but unfortunately, I think he's actually going to be coming off the pitch. Yeah, look, he's coming off. He's coming off. So, Wilson gets the goal. Substrate off. He must be gutted. But that was a very nice finish, to be fair to him. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. But we might be able to get on a break here. Here's Eden Hazard. There is Mbappe. We know how lightning quick Mbappe is. He's got to be faster than Nathaniel Klein. But he might not need him. Here's Sadio Mane. makes it 2-0. Eight minutes in. And this, you know, if we can get a level, if we could ever get a team of this level, oh, my God, you know, I love these really nice players. I haven't even used a normal. There's so many players in these leagues that I haven't tried out. Uh, Mane might be a good upgrade on Sterling. But I think, is Mane actually a right wing? I don't know. But I don't know if this guy is actually going to be quitting the match or not. It's 2-0 here. The ninth minute. Is Mr. Sandwell Town 
going to be quitting the game or not. I'll just take a drink while he's doing whatever he wants to do. No, he's going to play on. Fair, fair dues to him. You know, it's only nine minutes. I've come down from 3-0 or, yeah, 3-0 down to win 4-3 in a game before. So, um, can't cut anyone out. But he's actually going to bring on Mbappe himself. And he's brought on Cristiano Ronaldo for David Silva. God, this one's going to be tasty. But he doesn't know. He's going to be treated by a little bit of Lionel Messi in the second half. So that would be very, very interesting. Oh, he threw it in. Eden Hazard, just wide of the post. Oh, but he's passed it to me here. Mbappe isn't going to miss that one. It's 3-0. You know what? If I can remember how to do it, which I can't, I used the wrong button. I'm using stir the, I'm using LT. I wanted to hit the dab because it was 3-0 and he made a mug of himself. But Kylian Mbappe, you don't give him the opportunity. You can't just pass to Mbappe, moment. man. At this he point, I'd be up. sat there and I would accept the loss. We've got a much better team than this guy. And I think we are a better player than him as well. Today is actually, or this match, sorry, is going to be a good test to see whether my theory is true. Are the higher rated goalkeepers any better than the lower rated goalkeepers? I mean, it's, it's hard to say. There are chances that David De Gea has... Made big saves this match so far. There have been chances that maybe he could have done a bit better with. But at the end of the day, I think if there's a chance that is taken by a really good player, then, you know, I, I, I think it doesn't matter what goalkeeper you've got. He ain't going to save it. Oh, my Lord, Zanetti's in a goal here. Zanetti! Yeah, don't know why he's uh, in front of goal. Maybe just thought, you know what? I not had much defending to do today. Why not have a crack on goal? Oh, well, this guy's in here. Lukaku, what's he done there? Big save from De Gea. But Ronaldo is there. And Ronaldo gets the goal. Makes it 3-1. That's why I was... Probably wasn't going to quit because he knew. Yeah, you know what? I've got Ronaldo, mate. Isn't he going to show me what Ronaldo... Oh, it wasn't even Ronaldo. It was actually Marcos Rojo. Don't know why he's there. I think if he's there, he might have gone a little bit of ultra-attacking. Oh, he's definitely got an ultra attack. Look at his defence. He's they're not even his defence is non-existent. But the thing is, can my defenders cope with all these players flooding at them? Big test for the boys. And it's three two. There we go. Yeah, uh, matches can turn their heads. You know, he gets that cross in. Lacazette's gonna put it away. He's against. Uh, Aspilicueta. quite uh, the game's lagging. Don't know why that's done that. But look at that. He's against Aspilicueta. That's my weakness there. Aspilicueta. Not quite as tall as I'd like a centre-back to be. But uh, we've got to work with this guy now. He's uh, He's gone ultra-attacking. So we got our work cut out. There we go. Giving the ball away to him straight away. And with that Ronaldo, he is going to punish me if I keep doing that. Here's the Mbappe he's got. Mbappe probably wants a ball in. We, I, I've... I I need to keep my concentration up here because this guy could easily turn the tables on me here. He's opened me up again here and he scored. It's 3 all. There we go. This guy, if he beats me, he's probably going to go absolutely ham. But he's got all that attack. Um, you know, he's got one defender back when defending. Which is making my life really, really hard. And I wonder I'm sweating so much in here. The window isn't open. But look at that. Just banged it in. No, no worries. See, so no matter what goalkeeper I would have had there, it doesn't matter whether it was Asmir Begovic or even Team of the Year to Haya, he wouldn't be saving it. It's the level of shot that was at him. He just can't save that. There we go, 4 3. Just as easy as that. Oh my god, you know what? I'm opening the window. It's too hot in this room, man. We're 4-3 down. We were 3-0 up and we're 4-3 down. I don't know what the hell's going on. I want Kante in the middle. I want Mane off and I'm bringing on Messi. 
got to do something here. Just a complete lapse in concentration. He's gone all out attack. And he's absolutely ruining our defence. And it won't surprise me. If he sends me a message at the end of this, I think I will just report him for griefing because that is... You know, it's just part of the game. I'm not... I've never been good at foot draft. I've never won a foot draft. Throughout the three years of foot draft, I've never won a foot draft. Um, never am I likely to. I'm never good at picking up a new team and then playing with it straight away. Re expecting results. I just don't do it. And look at this. It's just long shots. No one's there to mark him. It's the 3-4-3. Three, three, the 4-3-3. Three, three. He's not even playing, look. He's, I'm taking off Mane. We need Messi on for this one, man. And he's not... I'm spamming in. He's not pressing it. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe I should have gone with the 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two here. I think it's the, the two strikers that are just absolutely bumming me. I'm getting absolutely bummed. Here we go. Here's, here's Mbappe. And I can't even out, raw out pace because he's got that freaking Rojo who's just incredibly somewhat quick now. Look how cocky this guy is. Look, he's just doing keepy up to the goalkeeper. That's how, you know... I respect it when people, you know, they do something. They're losing. They do something and they come back. Okay? And maybe, just maybe, partly, I was too relaxed. But now he's just passing around the back. And you know what? This guy can basically do it. He's probably about 12 on his Xbox. Really not playing to win now. He thinks, you know what? I've won the game. I don't really care. There we go. There, into Lacazette. And he's missed it. He's had 40% of the ball. All of his attacks... He basically just went, you know what, I'm going to play all that attack, stick it on the counter, and I'm going to try and win the game. And you know what, GG, mate, you've won the game, but don't get too sure of yourself. You know, I was sure of myself. I thought, 3-0, yeah, I've won this. Ha, nope. And look at that. No words, no words. This is why I don't buy expensive teams on FIFA, because I just don't play well with them. You know, you have these amazing things. Oh, wow, yeah, 89 rated team. This is going to play. These players aren't going to do the silly mistakes that, say, my 82 rated might do on Ultimate Team. But they make even more mistakes. And then you get annoyed because, oh, well, I spent 15,000 coins on this. And it's absolutely rubbish. Here we go, then. Here's Messi. Can he get anything from us? He's tackled me. He's won the ball. And that is GG to him. And if he sends me a message and thing, you know, when I play FIFA, I always send the message anyway to say GG, well played. Mbappe got man of the match. He came on. Mbappe was pretty good. So, uh, faulted honey, however you pronounce that. Let's have a look. Let's find them. Uh, faulted honey. Are you even going to be here? Fortnite. Where's FIFA? Here we go. Six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, eight weeks ago, two days ago, six weeks ago. I don't even see them here. I don't see them. Faulted Honey 689. You know what? I'll just search for them. Faulted. Honey, 689. I'll send a message. GG. Well played. Pop that in there. Yeah, what can you do? I, I don't, I don't know why I do this foot draft because there's 15,000 coins down the drain. And I haven't really got much to sew for it. There we go. Claim the prize. We get... <sighs> like, we're not even getting anything good in these. We're not getting nothing. Nope. I retire. You know what? I retire.
we're going to do all this, we're going to store, and then you know what? He's not, I don't think this guy's worth anything. If he is, then. Uh... Bye bye! Next Tosh one. You know what? We're more likely to get money from a premium silver player's pack. I just can't believe what's happening here. He's from the MLS, he might sell. 5,000, okay. You know what, we're listed for 3,000 coins. 3.2 then I guess. Hutchinson, are you selling for anything? 171, 150. We'll list it as 750 I guess. Sebezas. Nope. Any leaks that I've got? This guy, is he worth anything? k This guy is a Lee Gun one, so he might be worth like 900, 650, uh, nothing. This guy, Calcio B, France 2, MLS, this guy, he worth anything? 700, not quite. And this guy, Tete, he worth anything? No, so we'll put him all, I mean we'll list him, probably just a minimum I guess, and then we'll store all them. Disappointing um, that we didn't get a draft token pack, but what can you do? Look at that, the Hennessy sold, bum. What can you do? There isn't much you can do, apart from sit there, smile, and carry on. So... Screw that. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, remember, as always, to drop a like to show your support. Drop a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notifications on and share the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.